Today I'm going to show you how to take goose shoulder and burn it into a spay hackle. Now this comes off of domestic birds, usually white, and once they're burnt they look more like heron feathers. And this is used to tie in stamen steelhead patterns where a spay hackle is desired for thinner, softer hackle. It not only works on the black, but you can also do it on orange and any other colors. It doesn't damage colors when you use this process. The first thing we need to do is degrease the feathers. So we're going to start with a plastic container, either plastic or enamel. You don't want to use metal for any of these processes. We're going to put enough Dawn dishwashing liquid in there that when we add water, the water is going to be blue. Now we'll take this and add water. And after you get the water mixed into the right color, you just stir in your feathers. And you don't want to use metal, you want to use something ceramic or plastic. And then the same with your stirring stick. This is a glass rod that I use to stir things and dye baths with. All your feathers, whites, blacks, and even your spays can all go in this at the same time because this is just the degreasing bath. So we'll stir those in. These need to set in here for at least an hour with occasional stirring. to soften up any grease or oils that are still on them, especially if they're a natural color. If they're a dyed color, they've usually been degreased fairly well, but if they're white or natural gray, they definitely need to be grease degreased. So we'll let those sit. So the feathers are just about finished soaking. I'm going to mix up my chemicals. My first jar right here, I'm going to put a solution of chlorine bleach. It doesn't really matter. Any kind of bleach will do. I'm going to take three ounces of bleach. Into my jar. And again, use glass or plastic. Don't use metal with the bleach. It can cause some problems depending on your water and other chemicals that are in the water and the type of metal you use. So stick with plastic or glass. I'm using glass here because that way you can see it better. Then in my second container, I'm going to put this, I've got a quart of water. I'm going to put in a tablespoon of baking soda. Not baking powder. This is the Arm & Hammer yellow baking soda that comes in the box that has been around forever. We're just going to stir that up a bit. And the next container we have is just full of warm, clear water. So, I'll go get the feathers and we're ready to start our, our burning process on the feathers. Okay, I've got my, my degreased and rinsed hackles ready to go. The other thing you need is a clock with a second hand because this is a time process. It only takes well, a minute to two minutes to remove the barbels off the hackles to get your spay hackle type effect. And you'll want to do this by um, testing and using it to your best judgment of what you like to tie with. So all we do, this is already wet, we're going to put it in the bleach and we're going to start out by timing one minute. So I'm going to do one at a time here until I'm sure I know how much time it's going to take to properly um, remove the barbels from this feather. So the bleach eats the little fibers off the, off the individual barbels, releases them, so they'll come apart and stand out easier. And as you're doing this in glass, you can see the feather starting to come apart. You can see different parts of it starting to wave more in the solution. And I'm watching this as well because when it gets to a point where most of them out toward the end of the feather, and it, it takes longest for them out toward the end to loosen up because they're finer fibers. And when it looks like it's about right, and I've hit the one minute point, I'm going to take this out and I'm going to neutralize it in the baking soda. And that's what the baking soda in the water is for. Neutralize the feather. So we'll just take it out of there, we'll just dip it in here. It's an almost instant thing to neutralize the bleach. And then it will go into our container of water. Now if I know that my process, I've got it right, I can just leave it in here until I get finished with the batch. But since I'm not sure if a minute is enough, I'm going to take this feather out. I'm going to 
run it through my fingers kind of and rinse it out and I'm going to take it over to a hair dryer and I'm going to dry it off. After I've dried this for 30 seconds with the hair dryer you can see that all of the fibers still haven't released. They're not quite as much as I like to have them like in my sample here. So what I will do is I'll take this feather back and I'll rinse it off really good in water again before I re-bleach it because once you've bleached it and you put it in the baking soda if the feather has too much baking soda in and you put it back in the bleach it will uh, kill the action in your bleach. So let's take another feather and this time we'll do it for a minute and a half and see what happens. And again we're going to keep it moving around and watching as it goes to see when those fibers start releasing. And I'm probably going to, in the edit of the video here, I'm going to cut this time out. But trust me, I'm going to go for a minute and a half. Okay, after my minute and a half is up, I'm going to take it from the bleach to the baking soda. Rinse the baking soda off into the water. Rinse the water off. Wring it up to my fingers. And off to the hair dryer I go to see how it looks. So after drying this feather off with the hair dryer, I can see that the, the barbels have released nicely on the, on the feather. That will tie nicely into a spay hackle. Now you want to make sure that you always test before you do a batch of these because sometimes conditions change. The things that are put in your water may change and they will burn faster or slower. And you don't want to do a whole batch of these and find out that you've burnt them so severely that there's nothing left on the hackle or uh, they're actually too brittle to tie with. So once you find out your time, which I have figured out a minute and a half, now I can take my feathers and it doesn't matter what color or you try to stick with the same size in a batch, but like I can take a handful of three or four and do the batch like this. Now I know that if I keep them moving in a minute and a half, they're all going to be done. Hopefully they'll all be about the same. That's why you use the same size feathers. Sometimes smaller feathers will burn quicker than bigger, heavier feathers. So I know that this size that I did my sample with works in a minute and a half. Okay, I've had these in for a minute and a half. I'm going to pull them out, neutralize them in my baking soda. Give them a few good swishes around, including my fingers and into the water and they can rest in the plain water until I have the rest of the batch done. Now that I have them all bleached, neutralized and water, I'll take this container in and rinse them out with a couple drops of Dawn dishwashing liquid in there to uh, make sure it gets the last of any bleach and residuals out of there so they don't have any odor to them. I also try to keep around when I'm doing this type of thing some old white washcloths or towels makes great things to wipe up with so you don't ruin something good or uh, leave bleach on the counter or tabletop that will uh, get on somebody's clothes later on. After the feathers are well rinsed, put down several layers of paper towels and uh, just spread the feathers out over them. If you like to tie with wet hackles so the stems are a little bit easier to wrap, you can go ahead and tie with them now or just let them dry like this. They should air dry in a few hours and uh, store them away in plastic bags so they're safe and ready for your next tying session. Thanks for watching.